Hello again and welcome to Flea Market Finds episode 3. Not really an exciting episode because I didn't pick up that much. Uh, if you've checked my Twitter, I kind of posted what I got. So, here's my backpack. Let's get started. The first thing I have is chocolate. <laughs> this person was selling chocolate out there. I mean... Double peanut butter with layers of chunky peanut butter, salted caramel, and magnum chocolate. Like, what? But yeah, there was just like all of these Millennium. Has anyone heard of this chocolate before? I have no idea. It's like a ripoff of um of Aero. I think the uh, chocolate's called. Uh, so I got eight chocolates for five dollars. Right. So they they will be fun to snack on. Can you hear how excited I am? <laughs> Seriously, I went there this morning and um, the guy with the phones wasn't there and I was like, oh, come on, really? So I went around the market like over and over again, like five times I circled the market just looking and there was just nothing. Sad. But anyways, you know, anyways, it's, it's fine. Uh, so... Nah, I've only got two more items left, and then that's that's it. We're done. But I gotta find where item is. There it is. Okay, item number two is a Nokia sixty-two fifty-five CDMA in its box. The advertisements of the phone are pretty cool. Empower yourself with the Nokia 6355. Please into the eye. It's dynamic features. Go all out to impress even the most techno-savvy individual. It's a classy phone that will open you up to an exciting new way of life. I bet it will. You can see the showcase of the phone there. Engineered to perform. Or EP, as it's called. Because it's CDMA, it doesn't have a SIM card slot, unfortunately, so I can't use it. But I can play around with it for a little bit. It does a whole bunch of stuff on the back there. Ah, a Texan MMC. There you go. I didn't know that. Okay, so let's open the box up and see what's inside. This was a whole five dollars, and he kind of just shoved it all in. And I was like, uh, okay, but so I got headphones and a cigarette lighter charger, and there is the phone itself. Does not that look nice? I mean, it's a bit worn out, but. It is quite nice looking. I could have totally rocked that back in the day. I think this has got an antenna, if I'm not mistaken. Hey! That's what I call retro. Oh, Jesus. Yep. That's probably why it's not going to start. Oh, it's stuck in there. Look at this thing. Look at it. See it bulging? This is called Dangerous. So I just want to showcase this off real quickly. This is a little bit of a different design that I've seen from a Nokia phone. So what there is, is a little shield tray. Pops open. And that reveals the MMC card and the SIM card slot, which is non-functional because of that sticker there. That's quite an interesting little concept. And then you would just presumably just slide that out. How big is it? 32 megabytes! Woohoo! And then you just drop it back into place, like so. And that's it. Oh, there's the power button at the top there. I was sitting here trying to look for the power button, and I've just found it. Yes, it powers on. Amazing. Well, thank you. Huh, Telstra. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks pretty standard. What's in games? What's in games? Please be bounce. Oh, yeah, whatever. Games, games. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, I like to bounce. It's quite a hefty camera there. Look at it. That looks awesome. You can take video on here. A 15 second video. Those were the days. Those were the days. Anyways, it works. Brilliant. That goes to my collection. Very happy. I even came with the uh, 
the manuals and discs and all that sort of MacGuffins. Cool. Now the next item is probably the best one. I don't know. What's the best one out of it? Chocolates? Phone? Or the next thing? I don't know. So in here contains a whole heap of stuff for a console that many of you probably have not heard of. The Intellivision. A lot more fun and a whole lot more. Look at all those people. Look how excited they are. They are so excited to play that Intellivision. Now, most people don't have an Intellivision in Australia. But I happen to own one. Haha. <laughs> so this is a very good console back in the day. I don't know the date. I think it was 1977 that this was released. I think along with the Atari 2600. This was its competitor. So it has the controllers built in. And it's a very cool wood grain looking console. And there's a the cartridge slot just there. But I didn't pick this up today. I picked up games for it, and I needed games for it, so I finally got some. The reason why I picked them up, though, it comes with some of these. So you're probably wondering, what... What do these do? It's, it's, it's a little piece of flimsy paper. Well, well, my friends. So what you would do is slide this little overlay into the controller, like so. And it shows the game that you're playing, tennis, and then it's got here, outer, center, inner, hard swing, hard swing, soft swing, and it replaces the numbers that were under here. So yeah, it's a very interesting concept of control overlays. So this is what the whole lot came with. Literally every controller overlay, even doubles of ones because they're two player games, horse racing, skiing, amazing. But cartridges themselves. So the first cartridge we have here is Utopia. Don't know what that is. Dungeons and Dragons, Treasure of Tarmin. Never heard of that, but that's the second one. Next is Tower of Doom. Looks like a bootleg one, actually. Then we have Shark Shark, World Cup Soccer, Baseball, Horse Racing, NHL Hockey, Official, Super Pro Football, Skiing, Golf, Chip shot, super pro golf, roulette, and tennis. And with all of this comes all of that. So all the overlays for every single game. It's everything here. It's amazing. And the original instructions as well. Horse racing and actual hockey. Look at how old these things are. 1980. Holy moly. Champion Baseball. That was the graphics in 1980. Children appreciate that. Oh, we got another one of these uh, instruction books. Cool. Too bad I didn't have Tron. That'd be cool. Yeah, all of these instructions. So I got 14 whole games and all the instruction booklets, overlays, and everything like that for a total of $60. He originally said 90 to me, and then I walked around the market, and I didn't see anything else, and I thought, stuff, and I'm going to go back to him, and I said, I know this is going to sound harsh, but I'll give you 60 bucks for it, I said, because I'm going to be putting it to a collection, and that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be selling it, this is my own Intellivision console, I'm never ever going to get rid of this. He said he agreed to 60 bucks, so, very happy with that. So, I paid $5 for chocolates. $5 for the phone, and $60 for the set of Intellivision games. Bring the total to 70 whole dollars. Not that much of a successful day, unfortunately, but these things happen. I'm happy to get the Intellivision stuff, though. That was pretty much worth it, because I know that this stuff goes for quite a bit, and to get it at 60 bucks, and I can finally play my Intellivision properly, because I've only got, like, two games for it. Now I've got all these makes it worthwhile. So I hope you enjoyed this video of episode 3. It's not really episode 3 because I didn't get that much, but hey, it's something. Better than nothing. So because next week's pretty much Christmas, I don't think I'll be going next week, uh, but the week after, maybe, if, I don't even know the dates or anything, but I might go back there in two weeks and see what I can find, but this will tie me up for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.